weather. This is not going to be the permanent place for it. It's just for right now, that's where it's going to go. And it was, I think the shed was like 15000 so it was like the cheapest one. And I borrowed some money to uh, get by. So, yeah, that's why I got 50000 I didn't make that much off the harvest, but... Right now, I am uh, bailing up this soybean straw just for extra money, but I'm not going to sell it until December because that's when the highest price for it. So I'm going to go ahead and get, get back started on the bailing of it. Got a pretty good bit of bales so far, but trying to beat it until the next day because being the next day is December, I want to get it done and have them ready to go. I've also got to take the white into the shop to put a front loader bracket on it so I can have a way to load. But we're going to go ahead and get in this and get to bailing and I'm most likely going to time lapse this so I hope you enjoy. All right, got the last bit here. I don't think it's gonna be enough to make a bale. So unfortunately I can't dump it, but that'll be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and pick it up. Get this thing over here out of the way. And then we gotta run to the shop to get the front loader bracket. Let's see, where's a good place? I guess back here is a pretty decent place. Sorry if I make you dizzy. All right, well, I'm gonna get to the store and get front lower bracket put on. We'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, got the front end loader on. 
got the big old spike on the front. I even got one on the back and got my little trailer. Big old hauling trailer. And there's another train. Oh. Let's see if it opens before I get there. No. Alright. Get in here and get these bales loaded up. So I thought the highest point for these bales was going to be December. But it turns out it was January. So I got a load here. And I'm go ahead and head on in here and get them sold. This don't look like a driveway, but well, yeah, there's a driveway. All right, well, I'm gonna go finish up the last load and uh, I'll see y'all on the way here with the last. Heading with the last load now. Not even a full load. And I got so tired of trying to load these bales. For some reason, it kept glitching out. I'd get two or three bales on when I go to put one more on it's like they just exploded and bales would go everywhere so I sold the one I had and traded it for an auto auto loader I know that's not realistic it's fake but wow okay maybe it's just the trailer <laughs> I I really don't know what's going on. It was glitching out even with the regular. I mean, I like this trailer. That's why I picked it. But it glitched out with this, and now it's slinging me around with the auto loader. So maybe it's just this trailer. Maybe I ought to get something else. I will. Alright, well. I guess I'll see y'all when the snow is gone and it's time to start working the ground. Yeah, there's a car there. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you then. Alright. Well. It's time to do some plowing. Look at them weeds. Goodness. So I'm going to get in this tractor, get onto the store, and get a plow because I don't have a plow. So I got to thinking I might ought to spread some lime first. So I'm going to do the lime first and then I'll go get the plow. So. Go up here, hook up to this spreader. I think it's fertilizer in it.
All right. Getting the last bit here. Or at least I think I am. I might have to make one more pass. Maybe not. It's not an even coverage, but it's enough. Yeah, that'll do. All right, get over here and unhook this thing and then go get the plow. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so the white wasn't really cutting it on the cultivating the or tillage of the field, so I swapped it out for something with a little more horsepower. And this is what I've got for the uh, cultivator. So that's what I'm gonna run for a little bit until I can find a better mod. That's a cultivator but I gotta find a mod for a plow but that'll do for now because I'm not planting corn no way but anyway figured I'd show that but I'm gonna get on back to the field and get to work Don't get me wrong, I like the white, but it just didn't have much power. When I was going downhill, it did fine, but when I had to climb the hill, I was barely getting three miles per hour. It was bouncing between three and two and three, and the plow that I was pulling was lower than the horsepower that the white actually had. The white had more horsepower than the plow re required. So, yeah, that's wasn't gonna get it, but this will do fine. So, I missed a little bit there, but that'll be okay, I'll get it. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably do a time lapse of this. So, we'll see you in a little bit. So I know I didn't show much more after, much more, but I got that done. And now I'm going to unhook this thing. I think I'm going to start parking the equipment back here on this tree line. Like right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, well, I guess we can start planting. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I ran out of seed, so now I'm heading to the store to get some more. So I'm going to get over here and get some seed, and I will see y'all back here at the tractor.
Alright. So I'm finishing up the last bit of the planting here. And then I think that is going to be the end of the episode. Where did I cut across that right here? Let's go. Alright. Now I know realistically I wouldn't be running around in my field after I just got done planting it, but yeah. Did I just plant that? Yes. Okay. All right. Anyway, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to uh, fertilize off camera. So I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.